minutes, I just made contact with R. Kelly's attorney who tells me that he expects to speak with R. Kelly a little bit later on this morning ahead of the 1030 court appearance here at the Brooklyn Federal Courthouse. And this was all up in the air, though, overnight after R. Kelly jetted into New Jersey yesterday afternoon. His whereabouts was unknown to his attorneys, and that's important to them because they have to go over the case before he appears in court for his arraignment. They expect to do just that in a matter of hours, and everything should then be on on schedule. The 52 year old disgraced singer is set to appear in Brooklyn Federal Court this morning for the first time since being indicted for racketeering. R. Kelly's been held behind bars since being arrested last month in Chicago in a separate federal child pornography case. Nobody wants to be confined, so it's not an R. Kelly issue, it's a confinement issue. But Mr. Kelly is very optimistic. He's a very upbeat guy. He's had a lot of faith, so that's what's keeping him through all this. The federal case in New York centers around allegations R. Kelly exploited at least five women and girls, including some recruited by his entourage at his concerts. Amongst those are racketeering activities, forced, forced labor, child exploitation, production of, of child pornography, sexual exploitation, and Man Act violations. Court documents allege he paid for one of them to travel to a Long Island show in 2017 and gave her herpes. That alleged victim first telling her story exclusively to PIX11 long before the charges. You think he should be arrested? Absolutely. However, the lawyer for the Grammy winner called his accusers disgruntled groupies who fought and pined for his attention. The feds don't see it that way. It doesn't matter what your social status is. If you're a predator, we're going to get you. And if Robert Kelly were ultimately be convicted of these charges here in New York, he could face 20 years in prison. The media circus is expected to ramp up in just a few minutes as the two live-in girlfriends of R. Kelly are expected here in downtown Brooklyn to show their support for R. Kelly in court. Of course, they have been the subject of widespread scrutiny by their parents, uh, claiming that they've been held captive by R. Kelly in his Trump Tower apartment in Chicago. Uh, they are coming here today to show their support and maintain that is not the case. We'll be here for it all. 